<laughs> Good evening, Mr. Phil. How are you tonight? Good evening, Lori. How are you tonight, oh, LS? Oh, yeah, LS. How's my BB? Okay. All right, good. So what's new on the home front? Oh, just uh, doing my thing. You know, with these shows, it's great being able to be telecast all over. I know. And now it's we're, very cool being. You know, Orange County, Sullivan County, and we'll be Manhattan. going into Manhattan. Cool, 28 million. We're loving it. We're yes, loving, loving it. Loving it, loving it. Loving it. it. Give me five, <laughs> BB. All right. All right. Sounds good. So how so, um, Well, I mean. I'm doing great. Just a little distressed over the Yankees at the moment, but it's not like they're too far out, so I'm okay. You okay. know, because I'm a diehard Yankee fan. But other than that, all is good in the world. Okay. My, uh, my son's doing wonderful. He's going off to Rutgers. His band is doing great. Giant Stadium, NBC. Wow. Oh, can you ask? What else can you ask for, right? Yes, yes. We have some great guests on. I mean, yes, back to back great guests. We got a real, so. really big show for you tonight. Woo -woo. And wait, a little shout out to. Jack George. Yeah, Jack, Jack, I'm George. meeting you soon. I say this every show. It hasn't happened yet. But hi to Jack George. Hi, Jack Mom. George. Thank you for I'm everything little, you've done I'm for us. I'm the little co-host. Yeah, the little co-host. <laughs> the little co-host with the big heart. With the big like heart. Like Fort Jervis, right? You're the like little <laughs> city with the big heart. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we had a great uh, time at your, uh, at your son's party. Oh, my son's graduation party. Ooh, ooh, ring it out. I yeah. know. Well, my adopted family has to show up, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. We had a great time. We had a great time. They were all swimming in the pool. And they we have a pool inside the, you know, the indoor right. pool. They trashed it. We had to get the wet vac out. Carmine was helping us. Yeah, I heard. For like five times, five, for like two hours trying to like vacuum out the pool right. house. The hey, kids yeah. just... Right trashed it but everybody had such a great time and i mean it was just a great day didn't you have a great time i had a great time and the food was great it was great i can't and whenever you're around we always have a great oh, time. thank I mean, you bb <laughs> yeah, i'll never forget that was very funny folks this co-host is acting like a little girl, like a teeny bobber, jumping up and down. Doing you should, a swim. Yeah, you should, have, you should have seen it. She was screaming <laughs> louder than the teenager. Oh, in Asbury Park, my son said to me, Mom, none of this, please. <laughs> I said, I did not do that. He says, Ma, we were at the Stone Pony, and <laughs> yeah. you were doing this. I said, no, I didn't. I did. Did I really do that? What? Did I really do that? You were going crazy. Man. I know, but I'm so excited for them. They were in the final leg of the competition to go to Giant Stadium, and there was hundreds and hundreds of people screaming and yelling. It was an exciting time. Come it was on. an exciting time. And yes. I mean, I may have done one. And that was it. I was so excited. I, I still don't think I did. I just wouldn't do that. And well, then, maybe I would. And then we're on our way home. You know, I'm not dressed up for the occasion. What does what does they do? They pull us to the fanciest uh, <laughs> restaurant. Um, on the Jersey coast. Phil ate his whole <laughs> plate of pasta with a clam, a clam fork. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. It's so funny. A clam fork. Now, you know clam forks are like this big, right? And he's busy eating a, pole, a bowl of pasta <laughs> with a clam fork that's about a half an inch big. I wish I had a movie camera. It was priceless. Everybody's still talking about it. Did you not know you had a regular... Carmine even said, oh, Phil, you could use the other fork, but you were going full <laughs> steam ahead with your little clam fork. You were on a roll, BB. It was hilarious. I have never seen anybody eat really anything except clams with the little clam fork. Oh, I'm a bowl of pasta like this. Like heaping. Oh, mom, a little clam fork. It probably took you an hour to eat. Yeah. <laughs> but no digest, no indigestion for you. No, 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 fork. no. I, I, I really wish I would have at least taken a picture. He was like this, with a clam fork. I'm like, how much how much pasta can you get on a clam fork? <laughs> it was priceless. It was priceless. That was a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah, everything. And you loved it. You were scoffing it like you hadn't eaten it about a month there, BB. <laughs> <laughs> right? Am I right? Am I? Yeah. Okay, but anyway, we had a great time. That was yes. at the Stone Pony, and then they went on to Giant Stadium. Oh, they went on to, well, then they did another competition at School of Rock. Yes. Blew that away, and then they went on to Giant Stadium. Something like that. School I of Rock? Yeah, School of Rock. That's down in Wall. 
Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, I heard that place. They did a couple competitions there. Wow. Because there's so many legs of the competition. It starts out 1,500 bands, gets down to like 30. Right. And then they go at the giant stadium. Wow. With Motley Crue, Lil Wayne, yeah. Bruno Mars. Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, wow. Forever the Sickest Kids, Plain White Tees. I have no idea, but there's a bunch of people. Anyway... So now they're just doing gigs all over the place. They're playing the Sherman Theaters again. Wow. You know, they open for the Click Five there. Wow, that's now, great. Now I don't know who they're opening for. Maybe somebody's opening for them now. I don't yes. know. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, moving right along, we have some great guests tonight. Yes, don't we? we do. Especially one good one, right? Yes, we I mean. For, we went for quality, not quantity. That's right. Tonight, quality right? we're going for. I mean, yeah. we're on all over the place. I mean, um, we got somebody who plays all over the place. And... Uh, one of the greatest singers in the Hudson Valley. Very cool. Right. So we're kind of lucky to have this gal, huh? Yes, yes. Well, I've been trying to get her for years. Oh, cool beans. Well, now, are you doing a song first for us? Yes. Uh, I want to do a song that uh, you love. Oh, don't tell me. Am I going to need waterproof mascara? <laughs> yes, you will. Oh. Uh, One Red Rose. This song is in memory of my it's mom. My mom. Who, okay. This, is, uh, this song was uh, written uh, by Carl Richards and redone by myself, and it's in memory of uh, my mom. I just want to say one thing. Yes. T today, June, uh, today is my father's birthday. He would have been 94. He started oh. late in life. God rest his soul. Dad, He's we proud love of you. you. Well, he's, I'm sure. He's proud of you. You know. Love him. But anyway, today would have been his his 94th yes. birthday. You know, my mom never got to see me on TV. Oh, my dad never got to see me on TV. What? Well, no, he got to see me at Carnegie Hall. Oh. When I did Carnegie Hall, I don't think when I did the Philharmonic or Lincoln Center, right. but when I did Carnegie Hall, he had got like one of the last tickets. I couldn't even get him a free ticket. It was so sold out. Wow. I know. Okay. But anyway, so, so yes, dad, love you. Happy love, birthday. Yes. You got a good daughter there. Oh, thank you, BB. <laughs> He's biased. You're biased. <laughs> All right, come on, do one okay. red rose for us. Okay. Oh, we're a little twisted up here. When are we going wireless? We need to go wireless. Okay, okay this is song is One Red Rose in memory of my mom. One red rose, one sweet rose for your birthday. As I stand by your graveside and pray. Though you're gone, I can't go on here without you. Side and pray. No, 
know you're gone. I can't go on here without you. So I'm leaving one red rose for you. And every year on this day, I will tell you. I love you so, I can't let go, happy birthday. Love you, Mom. Baby. Thank you. Yeah, right. Oh, that was so beautiful. Thank you. You know I don't wear waterproof. No, <laughs> that was so beautiful, my baby. Mm. She's watching over you. Yeah, she must be watching she over is. me. She is, she is. Yes. That was just lovely. Thank lovely, you. Lovely, lovely. Oh, heartfelt. Thank I you. I think that was the most beautiful you've ever sung it. Really? Yeah. I think so. Thank you. I was like, Ugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I know we have to move right along. Yes. Long. Okay. But I'd I'd like to uh, call up Alyssa Jones. It's Elisa. Am Elisa. I right? It's Elisa? Yeah. All right. Come on up, Elisa. I'm going to give you my mic, and I'll share with my big brother here. Oh, very cool violin, electric violin. Very cool. All Thank right. You. Well, welcome. So nice to meet you officially. It's nice to meet you too. Thank yeah. you. Thank and, you. Um, and oh, it's our pleasure. Yes. And uh, so, tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself and your group and what you do. And um, well, I'm a singer-songwriter, okay. and I've been writing songs since I was seven years old. Um, <laughs> and how old are you now? Can we ask? No, no, no. All right, never mind. But I'm it's very probably young. more than 20 years, right? Y yes. Okay, yes. we'll just leave it at that. And, um, no, I'm 33. It's okay, not Okay, well, you look younger than that. <laughs> <laughs> you could have left you. it at 20 years. You would have been good. Um, and um, I started playing violin at the age of 10. Oh, nice. And um, I went to school for classical violin. And, you know, songwriting has just been something that I've done for myself personally. And it's nice Great that expression. other people like my music. What style of music do you do predominantly? I would say folk rock, but it's a blend of everything. I mean, it's, you know, there's some R&B in it, and there's uh, clearly some country influence, because I'm from nice. Colorado, so, yeah. Have you put out any CDs yet? Yes, I have, a, I have a few CDs out. I'm actually about to release another one wow. in the next two months. It's going to be titled Like Water, but um, the CD that we released last April is titled Sweet as the Sun. Oh, yeah. nice. Wow. wow, that's great. Thank and you. And what about the one before that? The one before that was titled Anymore. Okay. So yeah. So now the selections that you're going to be doing, what are they from? Are they They're going to be or? from um, the CDs Anymore and Sweet as the Sun. Okay. Yes. And do you want to tell us some titles? Um, I'm going to do a piece titled Je Tentre, which um, means I shall wait for you. Aww. Yes, it's oh, French. Wow. <laughs> Je Tentre? Je Tentre. Je Tentre. Wow. Have you had any radio play yet? Yes, quite a few. Um, the pieces that they, they tend to play are off of Sweet as the Sun, and um, they play Write Me a Letter off of the Anymore. And the, the songs that are getting played are Winter's Gone, which we're going to play today, wow. and um, How I Need You Now. So, yeah, it's, oh, we've been blessed. Exciting. Have you? Uh, what stations have you... Uh, been oh my gosh, there's so many. I really, it's so bad. I don't remember. I, I do know WHUD, which is Hudson Valley, wow. Um, wow. 100.7. Yes, yes. ma'am. And, and there's other ones that were up in uh, uh, Poughkeepsie and in the city and then over in Poughkeepsie, I'm in Australia. Oh, wow. So we've been, <laughs> we've been broadcast quite all over the place. I really don't remember. Have you ever been on a John Flowers show? No, that's not that I know of. That's the show that. 
I've been uh, on quite a bit lately. He's been playing my music. In fact, I was on two weeks ago, and him and the mayor and the uh, city councilman were there to uh, thank me for you know, giving my time coming up to the radio station, doing shows up there. Nice. Nice. That's beautiful. So let's hear a little bit about, more about your band. How'd you guys come together? So oh, it's three beautiful. You, right? There's Mark and Mickey. We'll have well, them one up of in a our minute. bandmates is missing. Our drummer. So oh. there's typically uh, four of us, and um, sometimes five because I have another guitar player as well. But these guys are like the it's, core. they are my heart. They are my family. Aww. I love them so much. And um, I met Mickey. Um, just through a, you know a mutual group of musicians and it's he's amazing he's an amazing bass player he's jazz and he, he has these colors like he just speaks to my soul and I think that oh. when he plays my music he he gets everything that's in my head and I think I'm very blessed to have a musician that hears what I hear wow. in my head. Wow he just gets it. He gets it yeah. and um, so we met what three or four years ago and um and we've been playing ever since. The first wow. rehearsal, the first, it was beautiful. Our first rehearsal, um, I'm playing in a song and he just like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and I start crying and he's like, this girl oh. is insane. <laughs> it's like, what a quack job. But I was like, it's so pretty. And I met Mark, um, my guitar player at um, an open mic. You know, he just walked by and he was wow. like, oh, who's that girl? And uh, he plays in another band and I actually played violin for their CD release. And that's how I met Mark. And we've been friends ever wow. since and that was like three years ago and my drummer and you know he's he's in the same town that i wow. live in so i met what him town is that? warwick so oh, we live in warwick near York. king's elementary oh okay yeah. and um so mike has been in the band now for three years so we've all been playing together almost you know for a long time That's yeah so, wow. Oh, I, I can't wait to I hear you guys. It. I remember you playing at Boodles. Yes, yes. The open mic. Yes. That's, that's when I, I first started playing out. Yeah. It was, it was too bad that he they never closed. forgets anything. Anything could be 30 years ago. He'll remember the day, the time, who was there. He doesn't really remember names that well, but he remembers everything else. <laughs> he will, I'm serious. It's like ingrained in there. Yes, I met many of singers. I remember one. I don't even know where she is anyway. Ariel. Yes, yes. I, I've heard of her. I've, we did one show together, but it was funny. I'd heard of her prior to us ever doing a show together, and we actually did a show last year together. Wow. So, but yeah, you have a great memory, because when you called me, I was like, wow, that was like three or four years ago. Yeah, yes. It blows me away. I can remember. I have trouble with yesterday and the day before, you know. Well, I have, memory, Today, I have memories of when I was three years old, even. I believe it. That's beautiful. Yes, I do. Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what the memory is, right? right. <laughs> so now um, you're going to do the um, the genre of what you were just talking about. Like, do you have different genres that you kind of yeah, glide you know, into? It's yeah. I mean, like, if if you had to pinpoint me, it would be folk rock pop. You know, if you had okay. to say. But even then, like, I, I'm not a full folk artist. I'm right. not a full rock artist. I'm not a pop artist. Right. I'm not like it's all over the place. You know, and there's some That's jazz influence as well. So I listen to everything and depending on what style i'm listening to in that time that's, that's voices, what yeah. comes out now you write all your own songs yes ma'am you do yes ma'am okay great that's really that cool great. do you get any influence from mickey and mark or um basically i and, give and your my, drummer's <laughs> name is michael oh mike mickey mark wow, yeah you're into those m's huh <laughs> wow mm, is what i call him mm. the mm. <laughs> the mm band Let's call up some of the bits. Okay, come on up, guys. We'll stand up and you can yeah. borrow the mic. You guys can, we'll share and. Shall I stand too? Sure. Wonderful. Absolutely. They're so humble. They're just. Oh, uh, well, just like you. Oh, well, thank right. you. <laughs> yes. I love that quality. All right, so now, this is Elisa, and you guys can just introduce yourself. Uh, Mark McNutt, <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Kopchick. Nice to meet you Pleasure guys. You. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Thank Thanks you very much for coming. We're looking forward to hearing you. And we have a, I've just been saying, depending on who it is, I, we have a telethon coming up in October. October yes. We're not sure the date yet, but if it works with your schedule, it's pretty much of an all-day thing. We raise yes. money for the station, and um, so we'll just keep you posted. If you can Beautiful. come down, it'll be great. Yeah, you get a lot of coverage out of it, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, this especially is a lot of coverage because it goes into a lot of markets now. We just, as a... As you know, we just broke into the Manhattan market. Is that like 28 million? Potential 28 million, you told me? 
That's pretty yes. good, right? That's excellent. Yeah. That's great. And I mean, I think 495,000 is the um, Orange County kind of market, right? Something like and that. And then there's the 26,000 or 25,000 around, right around this area. And then we have, yeah, then we have Selwyn County. Oh, I forgot I about Selwyn County. Selwyn County. Yeah. And I'm trying to get Poughkeepsie also. Mm. You got that in your bag, your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. The mayor. <laughs> yeah, I know. The mayor, yeah, it's oh, like yeah. the mayor. Anyway, so you guys are going to, we're looking forward to hearing you. So um, just go for it. Do you want to tell us what you, the, your, your, uh, Set, set list, list or? Um, I actually don't have it memorized, but we are going to start okay. with the tune title, though. You know, the, uh, even if I make a set list, I never stick to it. That's so. all right. Whatever you're We feeling. are starting with Je Tendre. I, I know that. Okay, that's good. Go <laughs> for it, guys. Right. We're looking forward Thank to you. hearing you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry about the non-wireless. We're working on it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing them. Yes, so do I. Cool beans. Okay. 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 Take it away. Take it away, guys. The Elisa. There's another word in there, trio. What's that second word? Elisa. What was that, man? What's the... Elisa something trio? Elisa tri Jones. Elisa Jones. Sorry, missed the Jones. Elisa <laughs> Jones trio. Give it up for the Elisa Jones Trio. Woo, all right. song titled write me a letter and it's on our cd titled anymore
have to take time to change instruments. <laughs> Today I'm only playing two. I think yesterday when we had three, no, I had four, four instruments I had to rotate through. And we were outside and it was like each one of them kept going out of tune. <laughs> yes. So this song is uh, titled Thinking Out Loud and um, it's on our CD also titled Anymore. It's one of my mom's favorites.
So I have um, I have quite a few CDs out actually, and um, this next one is on one of my first releases, and the song is titled Holven, which um, Holven, which in Spanish means to be young. And um, I, I was taking a Spanish class, and um, we were supposed to conjugate the verb Holven. And the teacher says, okay, we have to conjugate the verb hoven, so this is your homework tonight. And I just got that tingly feeling in my belly that lets me know that I have to write a song. And I went, ooh, hoven, that's a song. So I went home and, uh, and I wrote the song hoven and I did not conjugate the verb. 
but I had a great song, and so I went to the teacher, and I'm like, Professor, you know, I didn't do my homework, but I wrote this song, and I was hoping you could give me this Spanish translation. So he actually did. Um, yeah, but my Spanish is not as good as my French. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'll just stick with the title, Joven. Anybody that knows me knows I've been doing Taekwondo. I will be a purple belt next month. I'm so excited. And, um,
It's, it's a life changing, yes. It's part of my life. Yes. You know, and, and we're finding that a lot of musicians do martial arts. So I'm looking to see the correlation between the two. I think so. Just keeps you grounded. Yes. So this song is titled Bruised Not Broken. Because, uh, <laughs> exactly, a Taekwondo song. Yeah, I, as a white belt, what, I hurt my hip, broke my toe. <laughs> All these horrible things when I was a white belt, you know. <laughs> it was like, great, I'm hopping around, you know. Got kicked in the face. <laughs> but, you know, out of everything, I just feel like I'm bruised but not broken. So it's all good. <laughs> bruised but not broken.
love you, Mickey. I love you, Mark. Oh, beautiful. So also on the CD, Sweet as the Sun, um, I have a song titled Don't Leave Your Tears Behind. And this song was interesting because um, when I wrote it, I kind of wrote it in parts. Like, um, normally when I write a song, if it's a good song, then it's written within the hour. You know, but this one I wrote, and I was like, ah, it doesn't feel like it's ready. So I'll come back to it, and I totally forgot about it. And then I was listening to some old recordings, you know, a couple months later, and I'm like, oh, that was actually quite good. You know, so right there, the song finished itself. So yeah, don't leave your tears behind. Tea. 